five. Hey, we're live. Hey, y'all. Woohoo! Hi. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Say hi to me in the comments below. <laughs> What's up? Hi, Todd. Hi, Kira. How you doing? Good. <laughs> Good. Good. Uh, We're on a little bit late today. Yes. We had a meeting. <laughs> yes, we had an interview with the fabulous Chantel. Yes. And so we are just been very blessed with all these wonderful hypnosis students that are coming in. So very exciting. Yep. But we do plan to be on 11-11 every day. Yep. Uh, unless there's something that, that comes up in the schedule. Yeah. So we're going to do another instant happiness card. Go ahead, Ton. Pick a card, any card. <laughs> or the whole deck. <laughs> you can trust the universe. Trust the, universe. the universe has provided you with every breath of air you've breathed, ever, ev every drop of water you've drunk, and every meal you've eaten. Everything that you've brought into your life has been supplied by the universe. You may argue that it's been supplied by God, nature, or your unconscious, etc. Carolyn! Carolyn! Yay! It's me, Carolyn! <laughs> you may argue that it's been supplied by God, nature, or your unconscious, etc. That's fine. Call it what you like. The point is that you can trust this limitless supply and rely on it for whatever you wish to bring into your life. Yes. Yes. You can trust the universe. Trust the universe. What a wonderful... Uh, surprised to see carolyn here um especially with this you can trust the universe card because carolyn is an advocate of trust <laughs> That's right. and That's if you right. haven't been to carolyn's corner of the universe page um please go check it out check out her page she does a uh, a service a free service every sunday at sunday? 10. yep 10 uh mountain 10 mountain time yep and uh, we had the pleasure of uh, attending her service <laughs> yeah. yesterday, and it was wonderful. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, so uh, one of the things that I heard Wayne Dyer say a long time ago was, um, he said, you know, you can, you if you have this unlimited, I think it was Wayne Dyer, you have this unlimited supply, think of it as a, a, an unending ocean. And you, uh, you, can, you get choice. You can either back a truck up and fill it up as much as you want this unlimited supply and drive it into your experience or you can take an eyedropper to the ocean and just pull out one drop right it's your choice you can do whatever you want but just know that there's an unlimited supply of flow that's coming to you and i i love that idea because i i recognize there were so many points in my life and and there are times when I still do it where I just go up with the eyedropper. Really, this is all I this is all I need. This is all I need. I'm just gonna take this much. And uh and but there's there's so much truth in that. Hi Eileen, please say hi to us. Uh guys, as hi, I see Eileen. see people coming on, please say hi. We want to see you. So anything you'd like to add to that? Eyedropper or dump truck. <laughs> right. Maybe that's the title of our <laughs> that's it live today <laughs> yeah well I, I could just add that uh when we're feeling really really great it is like a dump truck you know yeah. i mean i mean that is that is the you know you're in abundance if you're feeling the mm -hmm. uh the good feelings i mean mm -hmm. it's like everything is on its way to you when you're feeling that good you know yeah it's something really beautiful to experience. <laughs> Eileen says, dump truck of abundance, please. And there's a little emoji of That's a, a little dump truck. truck emoji. How cute is that? That's adorable. <laughs> you know, so how do we get to our dump truck? I think is the question that I, I struggle with. I'm like, all right, fine. You know, I like a dump truck, but how do I get there? Well, you feel better. Feel. And when you're feeling better, the truck is on its way to you. Mm -hmm. and the you don't even have to drive the truck. <laughs> it'll no, just don't. come through your yard <laughs> yeah you know and and it's sometimes it can be scary to allow that much in usually we kind of allow like an eyedropper yeah. and um you know like you said but i think you know when we're feeling really really good it, it all comes in at just the right time and yeah. just the right ways and you know it's we don't have to worry about controlling it it's not like the dump truck comes in and it's it, it just dumps on you and you're like <laughs> oh 
you know, I mean, even, even then it's just a, it's love, right? It's a yeah. dump, it's abundance, you know, it's you're, abundance, you're dump who, who wouldn't want to peek their head out of a pile of money <laughs> from that dump truck, right? Who wouldn't want that? True. You're like, oh man, is this a problem? Oh, how do I get? <laughs> God, this is not a problem. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Invite some of your friends. Throw them some hundred dollar, hundred dollar bills. You know. Well, that's you know that is so cool. I'm glad you mentioned that because and and I, I aloha. I'm late to the I think that's I late to the JG. Party? I think that's JG. Aloha, sis. Aloha. Mahalo. <laughs> Mahalo. <laughs> Um, and please guys, please remember, comment, tell us who's here. Um, but, but I love this ah, It brings me so into a cool thing that I used to do with our clients. And I asked to do with myself it is called scripting and, um, not your typical like hypnosis scripts, but when you script an experience and you did it the other day, I did. uh, you did. And it was, and it's so cool because you can get into your imagination, get into your playful spirit. And one of my scriptings that I did to help cultivate my energy around abundance was I, uh, visualized taking every one of my friends, my closest, dearest, closest friends, to a party at my favorite restaurant, which was oh. a, a Mediterranean, oh, yeah. uh, Middle Eastern, actually, Middle Eastern restaurant in Asheville, North Carolina called Jerusalem's Garden. And uh, and you sit down on the floor and it's all family style and you eat with your hands and it's just a very nurturing, uh, beautiful place. And I visualized having all of my friends around the, the table with me and I would have a gift for each one of them. And it was just so easy to give. It wasn't a struggle. It wasn't challenging. It wasn't, I didn't have to worry about it. It was just a gift. And then there was a stack of money. And then I would, I would, you know, say, give the, because there was belly dancers there too. And, <laughs> and I think give the belly dancer a lot of money and, you know, and just have so much fun. And, and just, just the feeling of just giving and receiving and giving and receiving and get, and just being in that flow and just amping up that energy as much as possible. So, and Todd did that with the band. Yeah, I did. I, I imagined having a band of my friends singing uh, an Ario Speedwagon song with me. <laughs> I don't know why. I just felt I was listening to the song and it just felt fun to visualize that. I think it's because we had been talking about law of attraction on our Facebook lives. Yeah. And so my my mind just produced this kind of on its own kind of thing. And I just went with it. And I just imagined us, my different friends uh, singing or playing instruments. And I was playing this song and I was listening to these songs over and over and over. And it just kept amping up it kept feeling better and better and abundant things have been happening as, mm -hmm. uh, and i think there is a relation there yeah yeah because yeah, it doesn't you don't have to necessarily visualize money you don't have to <clears throat> visualize the the thing you know you can get completely out of that just as long as you amp up your good feelings and then good good things come in it doesn't necessarily have to be money um it could be a feeling of health of a uh, feeling of connection, of friendship, of of love, of positive relationships, of releasing old, um, you know, anything that's been keeping you bogged down in your energy, you know, all that kind of stuff. And when we look at that, when it comes to like hypnotherapy and that kind of stuff is like we are uh, scripting our experience, our life. And when you can do that uh, pretty easily and get into that momentum and get into that flow, it becomes pretty cool because you don't have to think about what's not happening. You think about what you don't even have to think at all. You just feel it. The, right? pa the passion for living is what draws in energy. And yeah. Abraham Hicks has said it for years also that, you know, you all you do is you just up level your fun quotient and, and then everything that you've already asked for is in your escrow and it's coming to you when you're feeling good. It's coming to you. And you don't have to manage it. There's no control needed. You don't need to know what's going to man manifest. Uh, it, it comes at exactly the right time through exactly the right people, the exact right amounts, all that thing. Yeah. That's not, we're not asked to manage how it comes. We're just asked to manage, feel good so we that, so we can start giving to you, so we can start giving to yourself, right? And it's all your energy, right? There's nothing out there, right? Course tells us there's nothing out there. You just look in a mirror, into a mirror and say, 
hey, I'm going to give something to you. Well, what do you see in the reflection? Giving back to you, right? Uh, the reflection is yeah, given right yeah, back yeah. to you when you're giving. So anything you give, you gain. Yes. And that is a Course of Miracles concept. That's an Abraham concept. That's a positive business concept. Positive business concept. Givers gain, right? Yeah. So it, it it's <laughs> what makes you feel abundant? What yeah. makes you feel good? Anything you do that makes you feel good, whether it's just if it's just for you or if it's for someone else or it's just to make your space more beautiful, yeah. uh, it, it's all something that's serving you because it's raising up your energy. You know, buy yourself some flowers if you like that kind of thing yeah. and just allow, 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 allow. allow, allow, allow. allow, allow. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, more people are coming. Please say hi to us. Say hi. So we say, we say, uh, Eileen, oops, uh, aloha, I'm late to party. No, you were here right on time. Um, we've got, I love this so much, Givers Gain. I really needed this today, and we needed you, Eileen. Dump truck of abundance, yes. Look at the little dump truck icon. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I love it. That is so cute. Oh, my I, gosh. I, right I, when I said dump truck icon, <laughs> I looked at the live. It said 1111. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, anything you give, you gain. Todd, my lesson of the day. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Um, and that it's so true, right? Because whatever we give, we receive, and all the good things are on their way to us already. I've been listening to a lot of Abraham. I was feeling kind of stuck. And, you know, go out to YouTube, you know, and look it up because her those rampages really help um, to to get into the mindset. So I just was playing a game on my phone. I put that on because it's a, it's a bit of a subliminal type of thing. She does a lot of repetition. Um, and it's, it's just getting in there because when we distract the conscious mind, the subconscious mind is more open to creative or different ideas. Um, that guardian is off doing something else. My guardian was playing a game on my phone so that I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't reject any of the ideas that were coming to me on that kind of um, a subliminal level. And uh, to me, that's like, it's like, <laughs> that's not bad at all. <laughs> I can do that all day. I'll play a game on my phone and, and change my mindset. Sure. You know, and as a result, I felt better. And the more I felt better, the more I got into the flow, the more I got into the flow, the more I felt better. And so it's it's like a, a, a snake eating its tail in a good way, <laughs> um, because it can be the opposite, right? Where one bad thought creates another bad thought, blah, 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 you know, and it, and it can take you, take you out. But if we go the other way, whew, you're breaking the sound barrier like crazy because all the good things are starting to to come in and flow into your experience more easily. Absolutely. Never underestimate the power of distraction, especially when you are in a in a um, a rabbit hole or a negative tract in, in, in some way. And then it just remembering to flip the switch. It's remembering to choose again. And that is the immediate way out of victimhood. It's the way out of it's like, hey, I don't have to follow this negative track down to oblivion or down to feeling worse. You know, I have the power to choose. There's a, always another way to see something, right? It's not what's happening to you. It's about what you think about what's happening to you. Oh, it's not what's happening to you. It's about what you think is happening to you. What you think about it. What do you think about it? What right. you feel about it? You know, it's like our friend Pedram who says, you know, it's not what it's, it's not happening to you. It's happening for you. So if you've got an experience, preach. Carolyn. That's just for Carolyn. <laughs> That's just for Carolyn. Um, uh, <laughs> I was like, where did that come from? Oh, Carolyn. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's so, preach, brother. it's so interesting because when we are, uh, when we change that, it's called utilization in hypnotherapy. We utilize all the things that are happening with our client instead of making them bad or even making them good. We just say, okay, well, what do you, what does that mean to you right now? And then reframing it and shifting it. Cause as soon as you can reframe and shift an idea, then you open up, you splinter in something that could be possible and create massive, uh, change in their belief system. And it can happen instantaneously. 
I mean, think about whatever problem or situation that you consider to be a problem right now in your experience and say, well, how can I look at this differently <laughs> from a different point of view or perspective? She, she put her hand icon. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. That is so That's funny. how you do that uh, via <laughs> emoji, I think, you know. <laughs> um, oh my god. And Bonnie is saying, love the Abraham Hicks rampages. Powerful work, powerful work. And you can do it for yourself as well, you know, as is yeah. uh just staying general, backing up off the issue and saying, This is how I'd like to see it, and uh and doing it differently. Right. It's like, what do you want to strengthen in yourself, right? Through your attention. What would you like to strengthen? Do you want to strengthen worry, fear when it comes up? No, no. You want it to, you can't always stop it from happening, but you want it to de-escalate. You know, you want it to oscillate down, right? Breathe through it when it's happening, but don't think on it. Don't amp it up. Yeah. Just breathe it out and or redirect Redirect. right and 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 just wire and fire what you what you want to wire and fire together right if something needs to come out and needs to be felt then breathe obviously um but don't think just breathe and feel but if but if but if it's a choice and if it's not necessary to be feeling something uh, fear-based or negative then distract change direction you know move on to something else that does feel better like abraham says you know, what, what's the best thing thought I can think of from here? What what can I use my mind to think on to get my energy to rise up a little bit more, you know, mm-hmm. to get on board emotionally? And then how can I add logs to that fire and keep going in that direction? That's the power of self-hypnosis. Yeah. Essentially, uh, because you're put making yourself open to suggestion and you're you're deliberately being a conscious creator Mm -hmm. that's powerful stuff man (laughs) come on that's that's that if that that, that, does that feel abundant to even hear yes it does so guess what everything you've asked for is coming to you while you are feeling good about what you are hearing in this moment you are lining up with your escrow you're lining up with your energy you know, you, 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 you are here because you wanted to feel this way. And so you showed up in this call knowing because some part of you knew what energy was going to be coming through. And now it is expanding <laughs> and going up and up and up. And I'm feeling better and better. And, and after you get off of this call, you are going to be like, shoot, what the heck do I want to do now? And you're going to show up with a smile on your face. And it's, people are going to be like, what the heck is the matter with her? And you're going to be like, I am in my escrow, baby. I am doing my jam. Get the hell out of my way. And I love you. Get the hell out of my way. And I love you. Join me. Uh, you don't have to do Join me. Join me in. You know, we're all in this together. I don't get away. Come in for a hug. Amen. Jam into music and raise my vibration and get me in the zone. You Woo, said it. You got it, Bonnie. Yes. <laughs> what job. is Carolyn saying? Choose a loving thought out of the buffet of all the oh, thoughts. I so <laughs> love buffets. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel great. Rampage of appreciation, man. <laughs> And we got all these wonderful people who uh, wow. who have been showing up and a lot of the same names uh, yeah. and they are just adding on to the rampage of appreciation <laughs> and it's like it's almost like a co-creation yeah it is you know a we're all participating in it yeah. right bam bam <laughs> that's our that's our uh, brand new uh sign <laughs> for uh what was it abundance or yeah uh, no, uh, I can't remember. Just just being like we're we are good. It's like bam, I am that I am. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. I <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> I'm ready for my day now. I'm I feel right? like I've got a I've got some good stuff happening. Makes me want to breathe and <sighs> go get it. Go do it. Go express it. Go, go get enjoy it. it. So you want to do you want to do a car? Another car? Sure. Let's do a car and in car. I'm down for it. Okay. Let's have some. Let's read all the cards. Let's read all the cards. Happiness Ooh. is your birthright. <laughs> yes. Look at that. Is. We just attracted that card. We did. We did because we've been getting some other types of cards of, of where we're, we were maybe getting or sensing some limitation. And now we're in the energy of receiving. happiness, joy, receiving, receiving. allowing, and, and yep. that kind of thing. 
It's not just for the few, for the worthy, for the righteous. Happiness is for all of us, like the air that we breathe. Stop for a moment. Feel the air going in and out of your lungs. We take the air for granted, and so we should. It does not have to be deserved, earned, or worked for. It is yours. You are entitled to it. It's the same with happiness. You may have been talked into thinking that happiness is conditional. I'll be happy when I get X, Y, or Z, but it isn't. What would happen if you suddenly begin to realize that happiness is your birthright? Well, I, I, that's exactly what we've been talking about yeah. today. Yeah. Because because happiness, when you realize happiness is in your birthright, is your birthright, you it happens by by allowing yourself to feel good now, not by putting it off uh, in, the, in the future, right? right? Right. Because even if you think of something that feels good in the future, like you want to look forward to something, which you can do, you're still producing feelings, positive feelings about that the future thing right now. Yeah. So you're pre-paving to even get there. Yeah. So realizing happiness is your birthright happens when you allow yourself to feel good in the moment about anything you can. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> That's right. Everything that you've ever asked for is on its way to you. If you can feel good about anything you want, like I, leaf blowers. Like leaf blowers. <laughs> Someone's blowing leaves outside. <laughs> um, I love I think I think this is JG. Uh so true. On my way to yoga. Get the F out of my way. I'm late. Okay, namaste. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, that's so good. Carolyn, happiness is your birthright. It equals allow yourself to feel good. Now. Bam. Not waiting. Don't wait. Don't wait for it. Well, you know, it's so hard because I didn't think in in certain cases if you're feeling down in the dumps you know we got to acknowledge that we can't just be like oh everything's great and hunky dory and we we've we've kind of put gold glitter over a big pile of poop <laughs> but instead we want to kind of move up the emotional scale and i think for me it's just okay if i'm it, that's a good point because there's like you know there are times where i'm at that emotional set point level of watching really crap tv and i'm like okay this is this is equaling my energy right now so if i want to jump out of that i gotta go a little bit up the scale i can't go from here to let's look at all the joyful amazing beautiful yeah. things in all of creation no no i need to just like i need to like you know go up to a murder mystery and then I need to go up, right. to, yeah. you know, and then I might go up to something a little bit more benign and I might go a little bit more and, and it get right. there gradually. I don't necessarily, you know, yeah, yeah. This it is can a, be grating to have someone at this high level and you're like, yeah, if you're feeling like crap there. and someone's pumping you up, you, yeah. you might be annoyed. Yeah, you know? right. yeah. Uh, whatever. You're real positive. Get away from me. It's <laughs> a really good distinction to make. Um, is that you, you, you have to be honest with yourself when you're doing this stuff. Uh, it, it can't be like, you know, uh, you feel crappy, but you're trying to put all this positive stuff in and it, and it's not working and it's just, you're not, your emotions aren't changing. Well then, yeah. you know, you don't want to lie to yourself by putting gold glitter on things that don't feel good. It, you have to actually feel better for this stuff to work. So it's like, well, it, let's not reach so high, reach a little bit better than like the next step, not 10 steps ahead and yeah. see if I can get my emotions to move up that way. That's why I said earlier, you know, feel better if you can uh, about whatever you can, but sometimes you have to breathe and allow something that's coming up emotionally to integrate, yeah. you know, and everything comes up. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you. So um, how can I allow whatever is happening to to benefit me, right? It, it's never a matter of denying or lying to ourselves. It's a matter of allowing ourselves to feel whatever there is in there to feel. Right. And, and uh, that allows integration, especially if it's emotion, uh, negative emotions from the past. And it's always going to be better to, to breathe through those things, allow them to be felt, don't run from them. And, and you know, if you need to, release release you know mm -hmm. um, um you know we don't want to put glitter on something that's trying to release or, yeah or, or, right. or unravel we, we or might atone. miss it yeah right so because it, as, as we breathe through those things that do need to be felt and, and released that is unconditional love right there it's a mm -hmm. gift of unconditional love that you're giving to yourself by by saying no matter what condition comes up in me 
it is lovable and I am worthy and I'm being 100% present with it by allowing myself to breathe through it and feel it, right? Mm -hmm. So especially good with anything negatively charged or, or fear-based. It can also work with positive things, but the positive stuff is more, um, I think it's it's easier to, to it's apply. The, it's easier to apply yeah. the Abraham stuff with the positive things. I mean, it works anywhere yeah, on yeah. the scale. Yeah. But I, I add in that breathing component for mm -hmm. for the things that need integration. Yeah. Uh, especially if it's harder to go up and feel complete joy if you're mm -hmm. feeling like crap. Well, try try breathing. Yeah. You know. See if that helps. Yeah, for sure. Um, grief. That's why there's the five stages of grief. You know, Eileen. Um, it's it's that it's and and why one of the final steps is is like anger. <laughs> you know, because that's actually moving up the emotional scale, right? Our depression, all that stuff, uh, you know, feeling powerlessness, uh, feeling victimhood, feeling like you don't have a choice is down lower on that emotional scale. Anger is higher up. You know, you're right. moving in the right direction when you right. get pissed off about it. Right. You know, Good it's point. it's Good it's point. really cool because I remember having so much. And this is great because I, this is a good reminder for me. Um is that I I have I've had so much like oh I'm bad if I'm angry and it's like no actually I'm moving out of victimhood I'm making choices I'm doing these things that are helping me to shift even though the anger doesn't feel good either it still feels better than powerlessness right and the, the feelings are going to be more truthful than the thoughts I you know if you that would be a if you're feeling bad about anger you're having a judgment and that's a belief yeah thread right right so yeah but yeah that's a great great point that if you're feeling powerless anger feels better because you're going up the scale and you see this kind of thing in movies all the time when somebody just had enough and they just decided to get the hell up and start moving. working girl moment yes <laughs> uh, that's a great great one right so yeah it's about being honest with yourself about where you are on that emotional scale and then knowing which way you're going right because because yeah. you could feel joy way towards the top and then something you know it, it drops something feels uh angry and it's like well that that anger will feel worse if you're mm. if you're way way up there mm -hmm. but if you're powerless and just feeling completely unworthy and powerless then anger might feel motivating yeah it, it might feel right. like i it's am taking your power back. i'm taking my power back yeah you yeah, know? yeah yeah so shifting really, that perception yeah, yeah. the vibrational awareness of these uh feelings and emotions is really to be utilized for yeah. our benefit for our good for for changing our our spiritual set point all kinds of good stuff it, and it's for so long I, I was taught to believe that having anxiety is bad or having depression is bad or having all these things is bad. no it's information it's information it's information well we gather the information we keep shifting and moving yeah and that and those bad is judgment that's right which has nothing to do with psychology yeah yep anger phase girl i'd see i'm telling you um it's better than powerlessness yeah carolyn says i wonder why there are so many more negative feeling emotions on the scale is it because love is all encompassing it's all encompassing of of good or bad or judgment of good or bad is that what you mean are there more negative emotions on the scale I'm, maybe i, guess I think so. there's more negative to neutral emotions well i wonder why there are many more negative feelings emotions on the scale i i, I have an answer that'll ring with carolyn it's because this world is a dysfunction <laughs> now uh, all we can really get a sense of is the negativity uh, uh because of course of course of miracles so if it's a dysfunction then there's going to be a range of things that you that you can think and feel that are not perfectly all, an experience of all encompassing as long as you have the split mind which humans do yeah uh it, it, it is going to be um, a, a wide range of mm -hmm. things but it's all given in love mm -hmm. and and love is all encompassing and mm -hmm. as the mind heals as we allow our uh, our minds to be the split mind to be healed then i think a lot of those i believe a lot of those negative emotions start not showing up as much in fact i know that the more that i've integrated things through breathing and um and allowing a lot of my cheap drama has dissipated uh it's minimized significantly or in in some cases gone away completely and it just doesn't stick to me anymore um 
And that is a miracle. Yeah. That's a miracle. Love is slippery. <laughs> love is slippery. And all that negativity just slips right off oh. of you when you're in love. Got it. Because it's, it just doesn't have any hooks in you. It can't get stuck in you. It can't. It's just, it's, you know, no one can talk you out of it. Uh, right. You know, and, and it's difficult to talk yourself out of it once you get there. I think, and you start to see the dysfunction for what it is, is the illusion. Yeah. And, and I relate that back to hypnotherapy. Uh, <laughs> because, Let's go ahead back to hypnotherapy. So dump truck it in. And, uh, <laughs> no, no, drunk. seriously though, because uh, it, it comes back to attention because if you, if you, if you give your attention to things that you want and, and, and there's lots of different tools here in the toolbox we can apply. Um, love is tough one. Thank you so much for saying that. I was hoping to get a, tie into kitchenware <laughs> and appliances. I'm hungry. I think I need yeah, to eat something. I think it's time for lunch. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, it's like what you give your attention to expands. And and we when it comes to things like ego and, and emotions and such, we want to give up the fight, you know, stop yeah. fighting things. And um, what what wires together, fires together, what fires together, wires together. together. So the, the more we put our attention in water, what we want, also, we're making chemical neurological changes. And, you know, if, if you're only doing things you know, hypothetically, right, uh, if you're only doing things that you um, that really make your heart sing, then um, it's it's harder to, to fight against things that that it's, it's harder to fight. Right. Because you're, you're just loving what you're doing. Yeah. And um, and it's harder e to even see any fights, right? Yeah. But when we, but when we fight with ourselves, any fight externally is an internal fight. Yeah. And we, uh, we, when we keep the fight going, then we're wiring and firing more of that stuff. And that makes it harder for us to experience positive emotion. We're going down the emotional scale. Right. So what was I, what point was I trying to make? Um, it's unscripted. <laughs> it's unscripted. <laughs> the point is it's unscripted. So, so yeah, wiring, wire and fire the, the things you want to experience more of. And, and just remember at all times that we have choice. We, we yeah. are, we, we have choice when it comes to how we want to experience ourselves. You know, we don't always, we can't always, you can't always change, make immediate changes, but we can change where we put our attention yeah. and that can make a massive difference. Yeah. So I say script it think right now consider right now what would be the most ideal situation the funniest situation that you could ever put yourself in to make it big make it bold make it beautiful and uh and play with it and visualize it and call it in and it. enjoy it it doesn't have to be about money or abundance or anything like that it can just be a good feeling thing that you could call on at any time to pull into your awareness to say, this makes me feel good. This gets me amped up. This gets me recharged. This makes me feel good. Right. I remember what I was going to say. Oh, when we're in a fight, we're, we're in our past. Yeah. And, um, when we're feeling, uh, emotions, negative emotions, we're in our past. And, you know, if we don't want to, like Carolyn always says, I, I have suffered enough and I agree. <laughs> I have right. too. I have too. And, and it's like, um, I'm, so I'm not going to keep that fight going. Right. You know, a lot of the, a lot of stuff about keeping the fight going is, is about the ego wanting to uh, create an identity for itself and, and maintain its separation from God, you know, and why, why bother, you know, um, why keep that alive when there's, there's so much love, joy and abundance and worthiness that we are withholding from ourselves by keeping that fight going. So yeah. let's choose again. Yeah. Choose again. Oh, y'all choose again. If you oh, don't like your experience right now, choose again. And if you're in a situation where you don't have any control over the situation that you're in, someone has passed or, you know, um, something challenging has come up for you, whatever it might be that feels like it's outside of your control, you are still in control of your feelings and your emotions. And I know it can be hard to, to get to that next, oh, just that next level up on the emotional scale. I know that it can be challenging, but I also know that, doggy's ears are soft and i also know <laughs> that i love ice cream and i also know that flowers are beautiful and i also know that i love my husband and i also know that there are good things here for me all the time and i know that i can choose again 
So as you're, you're looking at your whatever situation you might be in, just know that there are things that are good here for you still. All right. Well, I think we'll leave now. <laughs> Any final thoughts? Did, did my screen freeze? <laughs> um, final thoughts. You are at choice. And you are stepping out of victimhood every time you realize that you do have choices. And as soon as you realize you have a choice, you're, you are allowed to choose again. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And you're allowed to practice influencing yourself in the direction that you want to go in. All right, guys. Well, we will be back again with you tomorrow, probably around 11, 11 ish. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Please feel free to keep uh, writing comments. If you have questions or anything like that that come up for you, we would love to hear anything that you got going on. And thank you for your participation. We love yes. seeing everybody here. And it's fun to see a lot of the same people showing up yeah. every day. Love seeing the new people. Yeah. Carolyn showing up is a real treat. Yes. We love Carolyn. We love Eileen. Eileen. We love everybody who Bonnie, came on. JG. Bonnie, JG. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. We love you. We will see you soon. All right. Bye.